Hello there, my crazy tuners, and welcome to another Grantham Garage video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add more power to your 24 volt Razor product. So that would be a scooter or go kart with this controller and has two batteries. But if you have this controller and have three batteries, then do not fret. This is a 36 volt, and I have a video link down below for you for this type of controller mod. Now, moving on to this controller. This mod will give you more low end torque, more acceleration, in other words, a bit more hill climbing power, and a bit more top speed, maybe by a mile an hour or two. So, this is a good mod if you want more performance. So what you need to do is undo these four screws and then break this little glue barrier. Do not worry, we can hot glue it back later if you're concerned about water leaking into your controller. Remove the cover. What do you see here? These two solder joints. These are crucial because this, on the other side of these, is a bar that limits the amount of current that passes through this controller. So if you can get more current, that means more power. So what you need to do is take a small piece of metal, you have two centimeters of brass here, and then you can glue or solder this on. So the first and preferred option would be soldering. So if you have a soldering iron, that is great. Go ahead, solder that on. Good to go. Best reliable connection. Not have one of these. These can be bought for about 20 to 30 bucks at a hardware or hobby shop. But if you don't want to buy one and you don't feel comfortable soldering, then you can move on to adhesive. So that's glue or duct tape in my case. So if you decide to go with the glue route, just make sure you do not touch the glue to any of the metal or electricity. You might cut off the flow of electricity and the mod will not work. So now you have a piece of your tape. Make sure that the metal is centered on both of those contacts as you can see there. And just make sure you press down very firmly, keeping the bar in place to connect the tape there. Make sure that this does not move. If it does, it'll jump around and short out the controller, which is very bad, as you can guess. So once you've done that, reassemble the controller. You can glue that back with hot glue if you want. Screw this back in. Screw the controller back in your vehicle. And you are good to go. What happens when I try to take off? Now, for reference, I am 135 pounds. So let's see what it does now. No kicking. Quite a good takeoff. No kicking. Whew. A lot of power there. Woo. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.